the collaborations with ASUS just keep on coming. And now it's with a brand that I think a lot of you are familiar with. While at its core, this is just a pretty great laptop, the style of this OLED sporting notebook is just... Bananas. Can't think of a better word than that. And that's not even counting all of the accessories that this comes with. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? This is the ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED, Bape Edition. That's right, we're talking about Bape, the bathing ape. Yet another lifestyle and clothing brand that decided to bring its swag to the computing world courtesy of a collaboration with ASUS. Allow me to give a quick thanks to ASUS for not only sending me this laptop and the entire set that you're going to see unboxed in a second, but also for partnering with me on this video. As such, I'm going to talk through what makes this laptop special, including all of the friends that come alongside it. For a laptop with this much branding, you can expect that the unboxing experience is also quite the spectacle. But as we peel back the layers, more and more goodies are revealed. Before I even got to the laptop though, there was a carrying case that was my first stop. The camo print was complete with all of the Bape friends plastered throughout. The case does open up to a full 180 degrees, much like the laptop itself. The case makes almost everything that comes with this laptop easy to carry around. There are multiple pockets for all of the various bits or anything that you might want to fit in. And of course, there's a large sleeve for the laptop itself. If there's one critique that I might have for this bag that is included with the laptop, it's that a shoulder strap would have been really appreciated. This is really only briefcase style as the carrying handles are not big enough to like pass a whole arm through like a tote. Anyway, let's go ahead and open the box. It reveals the laptop itself adorned with a blacked out version of the camo and all of the babe characters, but right next to it is a wild edition, an actual baby Milo sporting its own Asus laptop. Now there is literally a little buddy that I have working alongside me as I use the VivoBook S15 OLED. Finally, we get into the laptop and I have to say, I appreciate the fact that Bape branding is simultaneously prevalent but also somewhat understated. Having the design be basically blacked out makes it so that the silver bar over here stands out a little bit better and then you look closer and realize, whoa, that's a whole Bape laptop. We can't forget about the rest of the usual bits and pieces included with laptops like the documentation, but it is here that there are a bunch of stickers included. Not just general stickers that can go anywhere you want to show your appreciation for Bape, but a slew of stickers that can customize the keyboard on the actual laptop. And then there's another little box in here. Maybe another little figure? Nope, it's an included branded wireless mouse. This might be my favorite extra in the box. It'll make a good travel mouse that looks and feels one of a kind, but it also is pretty practical because it has both dongle and Bluetooth connectivity. Finally, there's one part of the package that actually isn't baped out, and it's the 90 watt charger. It is a barrel connector, which may not be my favorite thing here, but I know that the laptop can still be powered via USB-C connections. Without a doubt, this could be one of the most colorful and honestly funnest laptop unboxings I've ever experienced. So we finally get to the meat of this whole thing, and it's the actual ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED. While all of the branding might make this laptop feel really fresh, at its core, it's actually the very same S15 OLED that came out not too long ago. That means we get the latest Intel H series processor on here, a good keyboard with a full 10 key number pad, a fingerprint reader embedded in the power button, and the OLED display that makes everything look vivid and enjoyable. ASUS simply gave Babe plenty of room to put their signature branding and designs, making this laptop look like a high beast dream. The cover is totally styled, as is the entire mouse pad. The logo is on the corner of the keyboard deck and also on the bottom cover. There are little flourishes that are found in various places, like the large rubber orange foot on the bottom and a couple of added splashes of design on the keyboard. Once again, you can go full on in the keyboard stylings by putting all of these included key stickers on here, but I've actually held off on doing that for now. I think these are really gonna come in handy once the keyboard shows my hand marks, and you can already see that this laptop has been getting plenty of use, especially when it comes to scripting and general productivity. I even scripted the very video you're watching right now using this laptop. Going around the sides of the laptop, there is plenty to see in the I.O. Included are the usual headphone jack, a full-sized HDMI port, and two USB-A ports. One of them is 3.2 and the other one 2.0. There is one USB-C port right here and it is Thunderbolt 4 enabled, making this laptop compatible with any docking solutions that you might have like on a work desk. And for a 15 inch laptop, this profile is actually quite thin at just under 18 millimeters. It's also not too heavy at all at around 3.5 pounds. This makes it easier to carry around in the Bape briefcase, even with all of the accessories included. Well, minus Baby Milo. I haven't actually opened up this bottom cover of the laptop, I tend not to with review units, uh, but this is still all basically the same as the original S15 OLED. That means that there are 16 gigabytes of RAM that are soldered on, and the laptop supports up to one terabyte of M.2 SSD storage. 
but the star of the show aside from the collaboration is right in the original name, OLED. So what we get here is a 15.6 inch OLED panel that sports 2880 by 1620 resolution and actually 120 hertz refresh rate, making it a really smooth display that pumps out great colors and detail. Now for any of you that are sticklers for color accuracy, it does cover 100% of the DCI-P38 gamut, is Pantone validated, and is VESA certified to provide very deep blacks. Now, while daily productivity is undoubtedly one of this laptop's main uses, media consumption has been very enjoyable thanks to this display. Using it in a cafe with even plenty of natural light spilling in didn't detract from my work and watching, which is good. The speakers on the S15 OLED Bape Edition are a dual setup and they are bottom firing down here, but they provide stereo audio that actually gets pretty loud. They also support Dolby Atmos and there's an amplifier that kicks in when the laptop is at full volume. And that brings me to the performance aspect. As you can see in the corner here, there is an Intel Evo certification. If you don't already know, the Evo certification is Intel's way of signing off on laptops that meet certain criteria. Now in this laptop, there is the Intel Core i9-13900H. It's obviously going to bring some great processing power on its own, but the bits that support it are what help it get that certification. Certain things like instant wake when opening up the laptop, supporting Thunderbolt connectivity, having the latest in Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 connections, and having a svelte design that is pretty easy to move around. Check and check. And usually at this point for a laptop like this, I end up saying that the lack of a dedicated graphics card means that the laptop is not ideal for certain users, like gamers and creators. While I personally might not end up using this laptop for my heavier video editing workflows and apps like DaVinci Resolve, that doesn't mean that the Intel Iris XE graphics still can't get the job done in general content work. What I was kind of pleasantly surprised by was my general gaming experience on here. To be fair, I've only really been playing Street Fighter VI lately, but doing ranked matches does require a lot. Not only does the frame rate and smoothness need to be spot on, but internet connections need to be reliable for smooth matches. While I did have to set the graphics to the lowest settings, I was still able to keep the 60 frame setting on and comfortably play. Case in point, I got this shot, but then an hour went by after more than a dozen matches and I barely even noticed. I had to finally stop playing just to get this video done. So there is plenty that I can still do with this laptop, even with my higher end game and certain video workflows. I have no doubt that this Intel Evo certified laptop will work well for many of you who are looking for a stylish but good laptop to use on the daily. The keyboard is very comfortable to type on for long periods of time, even if adjusting slightly to the left due to the included number pad was required on my part. I can still type an easy 100 words per minute on it with good accuracy. The trackpad is nice and spacious and responsive, and of course it doesn't hurt that it's also decked out in the signature Bape camo. It also doesn't hurt that this laptop came with a cool little mouse anyway. Going from a closed laptop straight to work in very little time is always a plus, and actually battery life has been pretty good on here too. I was able to go for hours typing away with YouTube videos playing in the background or in a PIP window, getting around 5 straight hours of work and watching done on my office couch while I scripted out this videos and a few others. Now I did have the battery set to balanced mode, and I'm sure that the laptop would be able to go the distance if I focused a lot better <laughs> and put YouTube away. Even better if I had the laptop in the best efficiency mode and turned off the Wi-Fi, maybe like airplane mode. Honestly, it's just good to see that everyday laptops are getting to a point where multiple key aspects of the experience are getting proper support. In this case, the OLED display is just a great feature, and the Intel Core i9 processor with that Evo certification just ensures that the rest of the laptop works efficiently and effectively. Throw on there all of this BAEP branding and style and you have a really desirable laptop that really stands out. The best part? All of the stylings and the accessories don't raise the price much at all. The original VivoBook S15 OLED is currently priced at around $1,100, and this one, the BAPE edition, including all of the accessories, is at $1,299.99. That's not that big of a price difference at all. You still get an Intel i9 processor, and then you get all of the design and stylings that BAPE has provided. This is just a really great laptop inside and out, and really good to look at too, either in the OLED screen or in all of the design. I guess I can use the term for something like this. Does the BAPE edition of this laptop get you hyped? Let me know in the comments. I want to give another thanks again to ASUS for letting me try out the VivaBook S15 OLED BAPE edition and also for partnering with me on this video. But from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.